Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a very quick video. Um, I thought, well, I've had my PC now for about two years, and I thought it'd be part time that I show it off in, okay, in its terrible condition that it currently is in. Anyhow, I'm going to walk you through all the parts that I've got, and um, when I got each part, I'm um, some that I've got at the same time, some of them I've got over the past ten years, and the graphics card at least I've got only about a month ago. Um, so anyway, let me show you my build. So it doesn't look anything fancy at the moment, I mean, it's just got you know, a CPU cooler with a blue fan and then I've got a blue case fan with a 7 volt um, fan mod. I've got to be very careful because there is actually no um, protective grill on the back of that. Um, so let's start off with some of the basics, some of the stuff I can easily show you what I've got. So down here I have a 1TB um, Itachi um, Eco Drive, I've had this now for about two years, it still performs very very well, um, in fact my PC is actually built it up into Windows 7, sorry not Windows 7, Windows 8 on it now, um, very very reliable. Um, I've actually found out that Itachi drives are actually one of the most reliable drives you can actually get so definitely get an Itachi drive um, if you want reliability but if you obviously want speed go with something like a Western Digital 2 or even just an SSD um, SSD is obviously going to have a next storage upgrade um, when I get around to that um, back here hidden is a little um, SD card reader which is not actually wired up um, at the moment, um, partly because um, during, well, I don't have anything requiring an SD card because my phone has onboard memory with no SD card slot, so that's not wired up at the moment, it's just there to fill up the gap. Um, you notice there is a gap there where this CE drive can get the right way around um, was supposed to go in, but I haven't got another SAT, uh, power connection, so I can't exactly use um, DVD drive. <coughs> the CPU cooler that I've got, this nice big um, copper fin, is in the Zeus Silent Night 2. I've got the box to it, I've just had to dig the box out. It's this one here, the Zeus Silent Night. Um, ignore all the marketing bullshit that they put on there. Um, it's actually no better than the stock AMD cooler that you get with the processors. And if you actually notice there, it's actually designed for an F164, and that's not the processor I'm using, as I will get onto in a minute. Power supply is just a very cheap bug standard 400 watt, easy to cool power supply. Um, as you can see there, it was originally used for the socket 775. Um, chips actually, they can pin to the mini eater that we use for Pentium 4. Um, that's my next upgrade on my list, and um, I'm going to be getting it is actually a power supply. Um, it's definitely going to be my next upgrade once I get the money to do that. Um, as you can see down here, I've got my little um, video card. I only bought this um, about a month ago. It's a um, NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTS. I paid 20 quid for it. You might be wondering why did I get a 8800 GTS instead of maybe getting a proper um, high performance GPU? It's because at the time I would do um, some gaming, and the games that I've got at the moment are not very demanding. Um, and this card does perfectly fine for the games that I play. Um, I do World Tanks, I do. Um, well, I plan to play GTA 4 on this, um, which I actually think it's going to do very well on. Since the graphics card I had before this was the 9600 GT, and this is more powerful than the 9600 GT despite being older. Um, back here I have two 2 gig sticks of Kingston low profile um, DDR3 RAM. This is at 1333 megahertz at 999.24 24 timings. The processor is an the Avalon um, 2 x 4 640. Um, that's stock clocked at 3 gigahertz. It's 4 cores. Um, not for much to do there. I haven't actually overclocked it. Got a nice blue key, um, case fan. I've already covered that. Uh, what else? Motherboard. I'm using the Zeus M5A78LM um, USB 3 board. Um, it's got used two USB 3 port ports on the back. I'm just going to show you the quick specs. That's there. 
Okay, you can have a look, you can pause the video if you want to have a proper read of them. Um, but it's a very simple um, board, it's not designed for overclocking, despite you can do overclocking on it. And it does actually have all side caps and obviously USB 3 point, which was its main selling point for me. It's using the AMD 760G chipset, which okay, does not support um, US, um, sorry, SATA 3, it's only a SATA 2 board. Um, that's fine, considering the hard drive that I've got at the moment. Um, and obviously it says there on the board. Um, it supports a Phenom 2X6, um, which it actually does because my um, neighbour, my friend Tom, um, if you're um, online set you might know him as Demon, um, he has the same board as me. I mean, he's only just recently upgraded them um, a few days ago um, to another board, but um, he has got the same board as me, and he was using a um, Phenom 6 core in it, no problem. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, bog standard shitty little case. Um, I am planning to get a new case. You know, nothing that special about it. It's just you know, your standard um, case with a little fan on the front. Again, not shielded so you can chop your hands off if you're not too careful. Um, again, this is one of the 7 volt fan mod, mod which means it's um, very quiet. And its main purpose there is just to keep the hard drive cool. Um, on the top of the case, if I just move the speaker out of the way, um, you'll notice there's a little slot up here, and then there is your, um, your front panel audio, front panel uh, microphone, two USB 2 point ports, and a FireWire port. Um, the only thing wired up on these is the USB ports, as um, the front panel audio I don't use that much because. Oh, guys. Sorry about that, about, about the uh, jump cut. Um, my phone actually ran out of memory. It used up all 600 megs and recording this 720p video. And it keeps kind of focusing on the hard drive thinking it's a face. Anyway, I was on about audio. Where's my audio going? Well, my audio is going to this, so that's why I don't use the front panel. It's because I'm using this. Uh, so there's no need. And if I'm plugging the phones, I've got the headphone port. Um, so if you want to have a look at the connections on the uh, board, back on the other board, what the back of the PC looks like. So here you go. So as you see, we've got our power supply here. With um, I've changed the fan here for a blue one, and actually keeps it quite cool. I mean, this is actually stone dead cold. I'm coming out of it again. It's not doing anything. Um, You've got one PSU, uh, PS2 port um, for either keyboard or mouse. You've got two USB ports in here. Um, one you've got for the mouse because the USB extension here we We have uh, right here optical audio out with HDMI right underneath that. Probably can't make it out, but there's actually an HDMI port there. On the board also there is a DPI port. A VGA port. Um, I'm just going to do another jump cut once I put on the um, LED flash on my phone so you can actually see. Bear with me. I'll be going to do another jump cut. Okay, we're back. And now that I'm using LED flash, you can actually see everything. So let's start again. So we've got PS2 port, USB port with another USB port. Right underneath there. See, it's right where my finger is. You see that? There is a HDMI port, DVI port, VGA port, two USB 3 point ports. We've got our gigabit LAN with two um, USB ports. We've got a 5.1 um, sound system here. And this is the cable going to my amp. And then we've got my video card here with the adapter going to my monitor and that's about it that's all about it this is the back anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions about the um build um you know if you want to know anything more about what i'm using my pc that's really not particularly important um 
yeah, if you want to know anything more about my PC. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can, you know, don't be afraid to leave a in the comment section below. You can see me in the lights that I can't actually use and just haven't got wired up yet. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, thanks for uh, watching this video and taking time to watch this video. I will catch you guys um, soon with another video. I've just found myself a screw and I don't know where that's come from. I know where that's come from, that's come from the CD player. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And don't forget if you do subscribe, um, you'll be automatically notified when I release um, videos. I've got a live stream coming up um, in the next few days on Twitch. I'll put the um, URL link to the Twitch account down in the description below this video because um, I plan to do a few games um, and actually show you guys basically what this PC can do um, as well as have a bit of fun and, and I might even arrange a few um, competitions where you guys can actually win something um, I'm not sure what you guys will win but I'll work something out um, nevertheless so yeah don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this video Give it a like or a thumbs up, depending on what YouTube does in the next few years. Um, don't forget to check out my Twitch account at twitch.tv for Stars Detroit UK. Um, don't forget to um, follow me on there. Um, and I'll catch you guys soon with another fantastic video very, very shortly. Until then, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.